KPM. Ya, ya, ada jual ni. Okey, boleh, boleh kebun saya, boleh. Ni. Penerbangan Malaysia pesawat MH 780, hey, MH 780. Hi, 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 apa khabar? Okay. Boleh tinggalkan buah saya? What do we have here? Oh, saya ada macam-macam tempat letak telefon dan juga telefon. Oh, that's great. I love shopping. So, can we have a look at this? Okay, sir. Um, yang paling menarik ya, saya nak tunjuk kat sir. Bagaimana dengan yang ini? Oh, I love it. Yeah. It's amazing. Can yeah. I have a look? Okay. Okay. So, boleh tengok yang ini? Yang ini pula didatangkan khas bersama telefon kalau saya beli. Oh, that's even great because it's beautiful. Bagaimana dengan patternnya, coraknya? I love the pattern and I love the colors as well. Okay, so boleh kita tengok lagi. Yang ini, sir, yang saya baru saja pegang ada lampu, sir. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yes, it okay. is. Okay. How about ni, sir? Oh, that is Tengok unique. Tengok ni shape dia, sir. It's unique. I love the okay. design. Okay. Oh. Okay. Sir, saya akan jual ni kalau sir nak mencuba. Really? Ya, yeah. okay, I would love to. Kita akan membuat ni dengan sendiri dan saya akan bagi hadiah telefon. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Eh. Don't, don't buy first. Okay. Why? Tapi... Hai semua, apa khabar? Anda sedang menonton Mahir di Didik TV KPM bersama saya, Chris MJ. Dan hari ini kita akan belajar dan buat aktiviti untuk dua mata pelajaran. Pendidikan seni visual dan juga bahasa Inggeris. Dan juga bersama Chris dalam studio, kita ada Cikgu Hilmi dengan Cikgu Anis. Hai Cikgu. Hai, hai Chris. Uh, Mr. Hilmi, maybe you can share with us, which school are you from? Okay, I'm currently teaching in SK Sungai Bunyi, Pontian, Johor. Pontian, Johor. Yes. And untuk Cikgu Anis, Cikgu Anis ajar mana? Okay, uh, saya datang mana? dari Johor, daripada Perlis. Saya bersekolah di SK Seri Indra. Wow, nampaknya nampak tak dedikasi dan semangat Cikgu dari Johor pun ada, dari Perlis pun ada. Uh, dan Chris pun semangatlah untuk belajar hari ini. Dan Cikgu, uh, sebelum kita mulakan aktiviti untuk hari ini, sebelum kita start hands-on hari ini, Uh, tangan kena bersih dulu cikgu. Oh, Jadi Chris nak ajak untuk uh, amalkan SOP boleh tak cikgu? Boleh boleh okay, boleh. Okey so maybe we can start with Mr. Hilmi first to apply hand sanitizer. Alright okay. and cikgu Anis juga boleh boleh sampai tak? Okey. Okay. Okay. Chris juga nak pakai hand sanitizer. Okay. And throughout the entire class we will be keeping our mask on. Okey cikgu. Yeah just to maintain the safety of everyone in the studio. Now um, our topic for today as well Uh, for those who are watching at home is Hello, hello, apa khabar pualaman? So, Cikgu Anis, yeah. boleh tak Cikgu uh, kongsi sikit apakah yang kita akan buat untuk hari ini, aktiviti hari ini? Okey, hari ini kita akan belajar membuat pualaman. Pualaman ni Chris. Okay. Dan so, help me, pualaman adalah corak tidak terancang. Pualaman hmm. adalah corak tidak terancang. So, help me, what is pualaman in English? Uh, I believe it is called uh, marbling. Marbling, okay. And Cikgu Anis, apa kaitan Cikgu dengan tadi, uh, dengan uh, airport kan Cikgu? Ha, dengan kapal terbang semua, dengan teknik ha, pualaman ni. Apa kaitan untuk hari ini Cikgu? Hari ini kita ha. akan memahami, akan belajar memahami dan menyatakan corak yang terdapat pada rekaan pualaman. Ini kalau kita tengok ni, semuanya ya, menggunakan corak pualaman. Okey, pualaman ni adalah ha. corak yang terhasil daripada marmar. Marmar tu kan? Yang kita pijak, ah, ah, mar -mar. Ah, ah, sama kan? Kalau kita tengok oh. melalui rekaan-rekaan corak ni, ya, ah, itu selain daripada corak mama, hmm. ia juga adalah corak daripada ira kayu. 
So oh. healthy. Is it a wood grain texture? Ya, yeah, betul. Okay, that's wood great. Wood grain texture. Wow. Also, Cikgu Anis, Chris yeah. ada satu soalan. Uh -huh. Teknik pengolaman ni asal dari mana, Cikgu? Okey, teknik ni berasal daripada Jepun dan ada yang cakap daripada China. Tapi okay. saya percaya yang dia daripada Jepun kerana uh, corak kalografi berasal daripada Jepun. Corak oh. ni adalah daripada ink dan hmm. dicampurkan dengan air. Ah. I see. Faham, hmm. Cikgu. Okey. Adik-adik, okay. adik-adik sedia tak untuk melakukan aktiviti untuk hari ini? Ya, Cik, Mr. Helmi, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Cikgu hmm. Ani sedia tak? Sedia. Okey, tapi Chris belum sedia lagi. Ha. Jadi, Cikgu boleh tak kita ambil rehat seketika? Boleh. Ah, dan boleh. kita akan kembali lagi di Mahir Direct TV KPM. KPM. Hai semua, kembali lagi di Mahir Didik TV KPM bersama saya, Chris MJ. Adik-adik, nah, hari ini kita akan belajar dua mata pelajaran iaitu pendidikan seni visual dan juga bahasa Inggeris dengan topiknya apa halo halo apa khabar pualaman dan juga bersama Chris di studio ialah cikgu Anis dan juga Mr Hilmi. Alright cikgu Anis, ya. jadi apakah objektif pada hari ini cikgu? Apakah aktiviti yang kita akan buat bersama-sama cikgu? Okey, kita akan membuat pualaman menggunakan cap minyak. Okey okay, dan air. Ah. ah patutlah cikgu pakai apron. Ya, kena pakai hmm. okey untuk okay. kekemasan dan kebersihan. Alright dan cikgu kita akan buat apa cikgu pada hasil uh, kat, kat, kat hujung uh, aktiviti hari ini cikgu? Okey, hari ini kita akan membuat buat pualaman. Okey. Saya akan tunjuk oh, cara wow. buat dia. Okey, nak buat macam tak, ni. Okey, corak ini, corak ini adalah corak tidak terancam, Chris. Okey, kalau saya buat walaupun saya guna warna yang sama dengan okay. Helmi sekejap lagi, ha. bila saya dicampurkan kedua-duanya tidak akan sama. Okey, cikgu dan ha. juga nampaknya hmm. dia nampak macam handphone holder kat sini cikgu. Ya, yang ini yang kita akan gunakan sebentar lagi. Ah, patutlah Mr. Hilmi tak tak patut beli dulu kan cikgu. Yes. Kita yes, boleh buat dengan patut. sendiri. Yeah, Okey, baiklah cikgu. Okey. Sebelum tu, okay. Chris saya nak tunjuk bahan-bahan dia dulu. Boleh cikgu. Sir Hilmi boleh bantu saya? Yes, yeah, sure. Okey, mula-mula kita mesti ada bekas. Okay. Ha, ah, tengok saya guna bekas yeah, ni Chris. Okey. Okey, okay. okay. yang atas ni untuk pengeringan. Okey. Okey. Okay. Water ataupun air adalah base kita. Warna yang akan kita letak uh, permulaan air, kita akan letak separuh dulu. Okay? Just a little bit. Just a little Alright. bit. Tapi kita jangan guna lagi. Kita tengok dulu bahan yang lain. Okay. Kita ada gunakan... Tara! Satay stick juga? Ya. Yeah. Cikgu okay. Anis, yeah. why do we need to use the stick? Okey, stick ni adalah untuk kita, bila kita dah masukkan warna nanti, kita guna stick untuk mengacau-ngacau ah, dia. Atau kita the... akan menghasilkan okay. corak yang menarik. Okey, ini fungsi dia. Okey, selain pada itu, kita gunakan cap minyak. Cap minyak yang saya sediakan ni, ha, nampak tak kat depan ni? Ini botol yang kecil ya. Bila dimasukkan, saya untuk memudahkan kita, kita masukkan dalam bekas yang macam ini. Okay. Ada pelbagai warna. Kita akan gunakan warna-warna yang kontra, warna-warna okay. pengenal. Hmm. So, that means we are using contrasting colours. Ya. Yeah. Okay, that's warna -warna great. Warna-warna kontra. Uh, so, Helmi tahu tak warna kontra itu macam mana? I don't know. What is it? Okey, warna kontra itu perlulah warna pengenal kombinasi warna yang bertentangan dengan roda warna. Ah, okay, ah bertentangan okay. tu macam mana? Hmm, um, kalau merah? Mhm. Uh -huh. Ah, tak ada merah. lupa dah tu. Merah? Hi, merah hit, biru hitam aja tu. Hitam tu hmm, tak. boleh juga. Boleh, boleh. Boleh juga, juga dikontra kan? Ah, okay, okay. ah, tapi yang lebih menarik merah dengan hijau ke? Ah, okay. Okay, dengan kuning ke? Okey, cantik okay. juga okay. juga. Sekarang hmm. kita nak cuba letak air dulu. Alright. Okey. Okey. Langkah Ayuh pertama dulu, letak air cikgu. Okey. Okey, langkah pertama eh. Okey. Okey, macam ni, macam ni, macam ni. Okey, sehel ni pula. Okey, the first steps. Hmm. Okay, kids, don't drink the water, okay? This is for <laughs> is it the enough? artwork, yeah? Do you need more? Okay, more. Okay, cukup. Okay. 
Okey. Close the cap. Selepas itu, bila kita dah campur air, kita perlulah masukkan warna. So, Helmi boleh pilih warna yang Sir Helmi suka. Okey, my first colour would be... Can I have red? Mm -hmm. Boleh. Okey, good colour. Quick, so apa untuk saya? Um, I would like to choose green. Green? Yeah, so okay. red and green. Yeah. So, so what are we supposed green. to do? Okey, you tuang saja macam ni. Dia akan berada di, okay. di perbungkaan. Ya? Sebab air dengan warna cat minyak ni adalah berlainan dia punya sifat dia. Okay? So, dia akan ada di atas saja. Dia tak akan masuk ke dalam air. Hmm. Dia Cikgu akan Anies. terapung. Cikgu, Chris nak tanya. Mm -hmm. Kalau adik-adik nak cuba buat di rumah mm -hmm. uh, aktiviti ini, yeah. bekas dia boleh guna jenis bekas apa, Cikgu? Kena ikut uh, bekas aluminium atau boleh buat di singki ke apa, Cikgu? Oh, jangan sesekali buat di singki, oh, okay. Chris. Boleh juga. Tapi okay. Chris masukkan plastik dekat atas singki itu. Ah, takut ah, kotor ataupun saja. Kita pakai, bot ah, ya, pakai bekas ataupun kotak, okay. kita salutkan dengan plastik. Hai, kan ah, boleh. Okay, so, I have two colours already. Can yeah. I add more? More, okay. Wait, Mr. Hilmi, how many colours you adding? <laughs> I have already. You added you added, added red, two colours, and green and green. red. And now? I'm going to use yellow. yellow. Let's see. Yellow. Cikgu Anis, berapa warna yang kita boleh guna, Cikgu? Boleh. Berapa banyak Berapa pun, pun boleh, boleh Cikgu? Uh -huh. Oh, okey. Berapa banyak. Tapi kalau banyak-banyak, dia nampak lebih colourful ni dia... Uh, okey. ...tak berapa menarik bagi saya lah. Tapi boleh cuba. Hmm. Okey, sekarang bila kita dah masukkan... Wow, cuba tengok. Warna kontra. Wow. Menarik yang Sir Helmi punya. It's colourful. Okey. Uh, Cikgu Anis. Nak, boleh angkat sikit tak? Ah, Cikgu Anis, Chris yeah. nak tanya, untuk corak yang kita hmm? tuang okay. dalam bekas, Cikgu, yeah. dia random ke, Cikgu? Oh, random je. Random okay. saja. Okay. So, we use the stick. Ya, yeah, guna stick ni, kita pelbagaikan corak. Okey, bila dia jadikan corak, dia macam corak ekstrak lah. Ah. Karya ekstrak mahal, kenapa, Chris, agak-agak? Hmm, tak tahulah, Cikgu. Kenapa, Cikgu? Mahal kerana you letak stick atas ni tau. Okey, mahal kerana tak akan sama. Hmm. Kalau Chris buat uh, dua kali ke tiga kali tak akan tak sama. Tak sama, cikgu. Okey, bila Faham. dah kita dah adun. Wow, cantik Sir Helmi kita tengok eh. Miss Helmi okeylah Sir. Cantik sangat. Sir Helmi. Ha. Hmm. Wow. Miss okay. Helmi is very focused ha. Huh? Macam kek marble. Pernah nampak tak kek marble? Ah, pernah, Cikgu. Yeah. It looks like marble cake. Yeah. But this is not cake, right? Guna kertas. <laughs> this yeah, is not cake. It's a design. Okay. okay, then we grab a okay. piece of paper. Ambil kertas kecil ni. So, Helmi tolak. Okay, I'm going to okay. push it forward okay. a bit. Okay. Okay. Dan kita masukkan di atas permukaan saja. Hmm. Uh -huh. So, we put the paper yeah. on the surface of the water. Betul. So, we don't dip the paper inside. We just put no. it on the surface. Right. Huh? Okay. Okey, dan dapat. Wow. Kalau tak dapat down. macam ni, dia dapat oh. separuh boleh masukkan sikit lagi. I see. Okay. Cantiklah, cikgu. Ya. Yeah. Wow. Mr. Hmm. Hermes one also looks very good. Ya. Yeah. Ah, okay. Cikgu. Yeah, you look. Then letak je kat atas ni. Nampak tu. So, we hmm. put it on the rack and let it to dry, is it? Yes. Cikgu, maksudnya yeah. kalau kita tambah lebih warna merah. Ya. Yeah. Corak dia akan nampak lebih merah, Cikgu. Ya, betul. Faham, Cikgu. Okay. Tengok Sir Helmi dan saya. Oh. Okey, dah siap pun satu. Okey, sekejap lagi kita okay. akan buat... Buat apa, Cikgu? Ha, tempat letak telefon. Produk, oh, ya, kita panggil tu produk berfungsi. Ah, okey, okey, boleh, Cikgu. Tapi okay. sebelum tu Chris nak tanya juga. Mm -hmm. Selain daripada kertas, Cikgu, mm -hmm. bahan apa yang kita boleh guna, Cikgu? Okey, macam-macam kuis. Macam-macam. Sir Helmi tahu tak bahan apa yang sesuai untuk dimasukkan ke dalam cap minyak ni? Uh, I think we can use... How about soap? Can we use soap? Soap? Ya, yeah, oh, boleh. Just a bar soap. Soap bar like this. Okay, okay. Nanti, nanti kita tengok. Kita ada satu lagi. Alright, okay. okay. Kita ada kuis. Kuis. Oh, okay, ya. Yeah. Ha, kita ada kuis. Alright, kuis. Alright. So, 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 can I remove my glove? Yeah. Tapi you jangan gerak. Alright, okay. So, help me kat situ, Chris. Okay, ya, yeah, Cikgu. I datang ke sini. Alright. Okay, nampak tak ni? Okay. I ada sesuatu untuk kamu. Oh. Okay, Cikgu ada sesuatu. Handphone Chris. baru je, Cikgu? <laughs> Handphone baru. Chris okay. cuma kena slide je. Slide? Nah. Okay. Boleh, slide boleh. dengan nombor lah, Chris. Okay. Okay, kat sini kita ada game, Chris. Alright. Okay. Kita ada game. Okay. Okay. Kita ada empat jenis telefon. Okay. Okay. 
Empat jenis telefon ni ada teknik yang berbeza. Tadi kita guna cat. Uh, cat minyak. Cat minyak. Okey. Tapi kali ini ada teknik yang berbeza yang boleh kita guna macam tu juga. Sama oh. dengan pualaman ni, cuma okay, teknik cikgu. dia bahan yang berbeza. Ya. Yeah. Okey, sekarang hmm. Sir Helmi kena teka. Teknik apa kah cikgu guna? Okey. Ah. Okey, okey. Let's do it. Okey. Kalau kat sini, please jangan bagi tahu ya. Okey, ya cikgu. Okey, ni nombor 1 2 3 4 4 1 2 3 4. Please pilih nombor apa yang sesuai saya akan angkat telefon ni. Okey. Okay. So tulis sini aja. Slide je kat situ. Slide sini ya. Hmm. Okey. Nampak. Okay. Ya. Ah dia kena ah slide dia kuat sikit. Ah dia kuat sikit. Press it harder. Harder lagi. <laughs> Dia kena buat nombor lah, Sir. Ha, dia kena buat... Ha. Let me kena try, guris. let me try. Ha, guris. Guris. Oh, tangan dia dah kena ke? Ah, okey, okey. Okey, okay. okay. ya. Yeah, nombor. Okey, Mr. Helmi, no picking. Mm -mm. Okey, ya. Okey. Cikgu Anis nampak, ah, nombor. Ya, yeah, nombor. Tunjuk sekat screen. Ah, nombor... Um, berapa? It looks like number four. Is it yeah. number four? Betul, nombor 4. Jadi so, kita ada four. empat ya, teknik. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Terus boleh kira tak? Okey. Okey, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okey. Okey. 4. Jadi, so yang ini. Hmm. Ya. Yeah. Are you ready, Mr. Hilmi? Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Ready, ready. Tara. Wow, hmm. that is colourful. Ya. Yeah. A little bit. Teknik apa yang kita guna, Sir Helmi? Let me guess. Um, hmm. Are we using shaving foam? Shaving foam? Really? Ah, yeah? I'm not sure. Does it look like shaving foam? No. Tidak. Hmm, okay. No. Bad. Wrong answer. Maybe, maybe we can give okay. Mr. Helmi one more chance. Uh, okay. Another chance. Okay. Cuba What tengok about? Cuba tengok. So. Yeah. Okay. Betul. I got it right. Wow, wow, good job, Mr. Helmi. Wow, macam mana Sir Helmi boleh tahu ya? I read a lot. Wow. I Google a lot. Google and read membantu kan? Yes. Ya, yeah, jadi reading ini... is intellectually rewarding. Ya, yeah, cikgu, jadi ini apa cikgu? Jadi ini kita gunakan sabun. Kris sabun juga hmm. dapat menghasilkan corak pualaman yang menarik. Ah. Corak tidak terancang. Okey, selain hmm. daripada cat minyak, yeah. boleh juga guna sabun. Ya, yeah, sama juga teknik dia. Okey, ah, cikgu. Ah. Okey. Selain daripada itu, Chris, yeah. ah, ini telefon nombor satu. Okey. Telefon yang nombor dua ini, ah, oh, wow. ya, ini pun corak tidak terancang. Sangat cantik. Ah. Cantik, cikgu. Mm -mm. Boleh guna sebagai wallpaper, kan, cikgu? Yes, yeah, it's beautiful. Betul. Tapi, tapi teknik untuk yang ni kita guna apa cikgu? Ya, yeah, yang ini yang Sir Helmi cakap tadi. Guna oh, apa? Mr. Helmi cakap... Shaving foam. Shaving, Shaving foam. foam. Bukan saja untuk mencukur, tapi ya, juga boleh buat. Boleh buat. Oh, okey, okey. Okay. Okay. Okay, sama juga. juga, mudah. Okey. Yang ini pula. Oh, ini cantik ni cikgu. Yang ini paling cepat. Paling cepat, Chris. Tiga second. Tiga saat je boleh hasilkan. Saja, eh? Okay, let me guess. Yeah. We are using spray paint. Ya betul, saya oh, spray paint. Ya. Oh, macam mana cikgu? Spray paint saja. Dalam air yang kita uh, okay. letak tadi, Terus. kita spray je atas air permukaan dan ah. angkat, letak barang ke atas permukaan je angkat. Dan faham. kering. Okey. Boleh gunakan terus. Ah, faham hmm. cikgu. Jadi ini uh, teknik yang paling cepatlah cepat cikgu. Dan cantik kan? Oh, cantik memang cantik, cantik cikgu. Cantik kan? Okey, dan last kita guna. And oh, ni warna dia macam Spider-Man cikgu. Merah yeah. dengan biru yeah. ni. Yeah, cikgu sebenarnya dia, dia juga similar cikgu. Jadi pandailah Chris ha? bila Betul. similar ni bermaksud. Oh, dia teknik yang sama eh cikgu. Betul. Oh, okey okey. Bermaksud okay. gunakan cat minyak. So ada ah. berapa teknik kan Chris? Ada empat teknik cikgu. Hmm, empat uh, bahan yang kita boleh gunakan empat Chris. Bahan. Oh, ya. bahan, bahan pertama ialah cat minyak. Mm -hmm. uh, yang okay. kedua, mm -hmm. uh, shaving foam. Shaving, shaving foam also we can use, right? Mm -hmm. Yang ketiga, spray paint. Yeah. Spray paint. Yang akhir sekali... The one that we use forgot lah. when we bath. We used to... Oh, soap. Yes. Yeah, okay. Pandai. So, for okay. four methods. Okay. Itu hmm. saja yang kita boleh gunakan. Ada cara-cara lain nanti kita kongsikan Chris. 
Okey okey. So selepas ni cikgu Anis kita akan guna uh, teknik ni tapi guna untuk buat handphone holder ya cikgu. Ya betul. Kita Aa. akan buat produk yang okay. menghasilkan dihasilkan oleh Walamai. Okey faham cikgu. Jadi adik-adik jangan ke mana-mana ya. Kita akan kembali selepas ini hanya di Mahir Didik TV KPM. Welcome back to Mahe Didik TV. You're watching with me, Chris MJ. And today, our topic is Hello, Hello, Apa Kabar Pualaman? And just before the break, we were designing together with Teacher Anis and also Mr. Hilmi, we were designing some Pualaman or marbling techniques. Yeah. So let me just show you a few. So this one is using uh, cat minyak, kan? Cikgu, yeah, kita guna cat minyak. Yeah, Yes, and we also have a few other methods that uh, teacher Anis has shared with us. So one is using shaving foam. We can also use spray paint. Um, we can use uh, chat minya. And last but not least, soap. soap. Yes, correct. Now, next, what we'll be doing is we'll be using this design, but we'll be creating a product. Am I right? Yes. So earlier we were looking for a handphone holder, right? Yeah. So we're going to create a handphone holder using this. Pualaman or marbling designs, correct, Mr. Helmi? Yes, we are going to use our uh, marbling design just now to okay. create a mobile phone holder. Okay. okay. Mr. Helmi, I also just want to say, you're the first pilot I'm seeing <laughs> do All right. doing some artwork before his flight. So it's very interesting to watch. Okay. So Mr. Right. Helmi, go ahead. Are you ready to do it? Okay. Yes, okay. we are ready. Let's do it. And Ini corak yang dah siap. Okay. Okay, pattern dia. So, boleh jelaskan tak? Okay, so in this segment, we are going to look at this design and describe using three different adjectives. Okay? okay. The first one, we can describe the shapes of the design. Shapes. Okay. Shapes. And then okay. second Bentuk one. Bentuk ya, cikgu? Shapes. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. We can use patterns. Okay, kita guna pattern. Pattern ni, yang hmm. ini, kita gunakan... Spray paint? Ya, yeah, betul. Ah, Okey, nampak okay. tak efek dia? Nampak efek, yeah, Cikgu. Cantik. Texture pun lain sikit. Cantik kan yang ini? Cantik, Cikgu. Okey, and okay. the third is colours. Okey. Okey. Hmm. So, like red, okay. blue, Macam what, ni, colour dia berbeza. Uh, yes. Kan, kontra colour. Betul hmm. tak, saya yes. ni? Okey, lagi. Banyak sangat saya bawa hari ni. Wow. Yeah, plenty. Okay. And this, yang I would ini? say, is very colourful. I love it. Yeah. Yes, and yes. We have three different colors. Yeah, green, blue, and brown, right? Yeah. Okay. Corak tidak terancam. Corak tidak terancam. Yes. Okay. Sekarang kita right. akan buat produk berkongsi. Okay. All right. Okay. Now let's do it. Okay. The first step oh. in making art, we have to sketch our idea. So, so we have a grid. Okay. What to are we sketching today? This design. Is that a? It's a unicorn. Yes. It's a unicorn. Okay. Okay. We have a unicorn. Okay. Okay, first and foremost, you have to trace the design of the so unicorn here. Okay. Using okay. a marker pen. Okay, trace the design. Lipis sama macam ni kan? Yes. Boleh ke tu, Chris? Are you sure you can do it? I will Please. try, I will try. Okay. <laughs> you need help? I will try, Miss Elmi, okay. Um. Okay, oh. boleh tak saya mulakan dengan pilihan? Alright, okay, sure. You All can right. use any design that you like. Macam while waiting for Chris. To finish his drawing. Okay. Okay. Nampak. Let's see. What do you think of this? <laughs> okay. It's wonderful. Correct. Let's break. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like a unicorn. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now we have the design already. You have yes. traced the design. Now okay, I need design. you to cut. Right. Okay. The shape that you have created. Okay. okay. Trace. All right. So here's here's my here's my unicorn. Okay. Uh, Mr. Hermie, but what about? Because I I do see like some some uh, some eyes, the eyes, and then also the 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 main. Okay, so we do can I need do to draw this now? After we have finished pasting the marbling ah, design. Okay, right. so later we will do later that. Okay, we'll so do next it. step is to cut out the shape. Yes, you have to cut out the shape. Okay. 
Uh, you can use the Guna scissors. Uh, okay, we use okay. the scissors. Okay. Be careful when you use the scissors. Stress. Yeah. So. All right. So just a reminder, kids, if you're using or doing this activity at home and you're using scissors, these are very sharp. So make sure to do it with your parents' supervision. Okay. But yeah, let's do it together. So we just have to cut the shape out. Okay. okay. Cut. Yeah. All right. Let me just. Uh, Mm. Be careful. Seven cuts. Yeah. Cikgu also can try to cut. Okay. The shapes. Oh, saya pula eh. Yes, saya great. yang try kan. Mm. So, Helmi, nanti saya buat ni. So, Helmi boleh ambil ya. Oh, I can take it away with yeah. me. Alright, okay. Wait. That's great. Tapi Chris kena beli lah. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Oh. Saya akan beli nanti. Cikgu boleh bagi diskaun lah, Cikgu. Boleh. <laughs> Kita akan boleh buat macam ni. Boleh guna Captain Helmi staff price. Eh? Yes, okay. you get 10% discount. <laughs> Kalau buat macam ni, boleh tak Chris? Wish, macam ni sangat macam susah cikgu. Chris, kalau tengok ni sambil-sambil potong tu Chris, kita okay. tengok dua permukaan yang kita boleh letak. Sini mungkin letak uh, buku ke apa lagi uh, yang kita try? We can even make bookmarks. Ya. Yeah. Hmm, okay okay, boleh cikgu. Okay, boleh letak. Okay, dan potong. Okay, dah dapat. Okay. Do you need help? No, it's good. Okay. Alright, okay. okay. Alright. Okay, we've got. Beautiful unicorn there. Yeah, yeah, this one, this one. Okay. Yeah. Nah, itu yang saya potong kan? Oh, tadi. Alright, okay. 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 Alright. We've got the unicorn. Yeah. Okay. Now, I need you to choose one okay. of the marbling design that we have. Okay. okay. What design that I want to choose? So this is for my my yes. phone holder, right? The marbling patterns okay. just now. Okay. I I honestly oh that one can choose. Or not? Okay. <laughs> can I choose this, Mister Hermi? Is yes. it part of the? Yeah. Can yeah, I? Yeah, you can have that. Okay. Let me just let me just pick. Okay. So okay. kids, uh, what what do you think I should choose? There is uh, red and blue. There is also brown, green and blue. Um, wow, there's so many designs. I love this. You, there's you, even with stars on it. Um, you can choose your favorite colors. Yeah, perhaps. okay. My favorite color. Okay. So let me just uh, short list a few options. So this this looks nice. This looks nice. Okay. Yeah. It has. Uh, and I think my top two would be this and Boleh this. Yes, yeah. of course. Oh. You can mix it. You have an idea. You can mix it. Oh, boleh ya, cikgu. Boleh, so, boleh campur dua dua macam ni. Yeah, yes, you can create a wonderful oh. design okay. and you mix okay. things. If that's the case, I would like to pick these two designs okay. for my phone that's holder. That's great. Today. I can see that you have chosen. This is like a pink, uh, uh, pink and yellow. very rose gold theme, and this one is green. Yeah. Green and contra. silver. Right, okay. Yeah, contra. it's very contrasting. Okay, very nice. Now, okay. okay, you have chosen the design that yeah. you love. I need you to trace the unicorn shape okay. onto the marbling design that you have chosen. Alright. Mm -hmm. So trace. just meaning I just put it on top like this? Yes, you trace it again. Okay, can. Okay. okay. So so what we'll do is uh, take a marker and trace it around this, correct? Yes. Okay. You have to trace it. Do you need help with that? Um, I think I'm good. Let me just try that. Wow. I'm laju so excited. Sangat laju. Oh, he's a fast learner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure all my friends watching at home are fast learners as well. And they're doing it together with okay, their brothers and sisters. Okay, kalau corak yang macam ni, kan? Uh, hmm. Corak pattern apa selain unicorn yang yang oh. Chris suka? Yeah, hmm. besides unicorn. You know, hmm. like like what what else can we... You can choose any shape or design that you like. Okay. okay. For example, if you like a rabbit, mm -hmm. you can create a rabbit stencil and make your design based on that. I see. So help me. Dalam banyak banyak tu mana yang lebih menarik kalau kita kalau saya help me nak pilih. If mm -hmm. I were to choose one, yeah, I think I will go wow. with the okay. cat. I love the cat. Okay, cat. Um, okay. Okay. How about? Apa yang kita nak buat lagi? How about? Is this correct? Yeah. So ah, I traced yes, it. It looks great. Yeah. Okay. So once I... you have traced it on the the, the, the design, the okay. marble design. Yes. You need to cut out. Okay. The trace. So help me cuba tengok apa yang lebih menarik pada lekaan corak okay. ni. Okay. Based on my observation. Yeah. Okay. I can see there are some glittering stars. Yeah. So Mr. Help me. Like. Yes. Okay. Usually, how many sketches do we need? Like like how many would you recommend? Like for this, how many how many sketches do you do uh, usually? It depends on your creativity. If you want to be creative, you can use more. 
I see. Also, I've always seen the blowing technique. I, I'm sure kids know this at home. They you know the blowing technique where they okay. use a straw and blow on paper. Like, can we actually use Will that technique? Yes, yeah, can yes. we use that technique for You for, can use blowing for technique to create the design. Ah. Okay, kita kena buat rekaan corak bila dah lekat tu. Okay. Ini kita kena letak hiasan. Ah, hiasan ya. Ah, macam ni. Okay, hurry up. Cantik okay. tak? Okay, I think I'll just pause my ear first because okay. we're going to take some time. I'll do uh -huh. it during the shot. Okay, yeah. So teacher, ni, maybe teacher apa can. Apa aksesori yang boleh um, Chris masukkan? Um, I was thinking nak guna ma nak letak master cikgu boleh? Ah, uh, letak kat sini juga boleh. Okay. okay. You can push the. Uh, you can put the. Kita the boleh masuk. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Alright. Uh, you can use that as well. Ice cream stick. Yeah. And you can even use the cotton ball. Cotton ball macam ni. Okay. Mata ni ah, macam dia nak okay, tidur. Boleh tak? Ya. Yeah. Tai gunting kat kepala dia. Alright. Yes. Okay. So, okay. maybe Cikgu Anis boleh tolong Chris sikit. Okay, Chris untuk... boleh yeah. letak dekat sini. Nanti saya ikat balik. Uh, ah, okay, okay. Letak boleh. balik pattern tu. Okay. okay. Ha, letak je. Oh, dia yeah, susah sikit. Susah ni. kan? Okay, ni selain pada tu, hmm. saya dalam ni kita masukkan aksesori. Ah. ah. What is that? Oh, wow. Cantik ni. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Tengok dia berubah warna. It's so, bukan saja boleh letak ni, boleh juga kita letakkan hiasan. Boleh Selain cikgu. pun dalam bekas ni, kita boleh letakkan pensel. Sesuai sangat untuk kita. Hmm, ha. Boleh letak atas meja. Ya, nak... sambil melihat hmm. masa PDPR tu, ah, yeah. kita boleh gunakan dah. Oh, okey, okey. Okay. Jadi ini hmm. ini okay. final produk dia, cikgu? Ya, yeah, final produk dia. Ah. Kalau pun, kita tengok eh. Hmm. Okay. Tadi Chris dah lekat kan mata kan? Ah, dah, dah, ah. dah cikgu. Mata pink Tapi saya, sebab... Tapi saya, kenapa Chris ah. letakkan ni? Ini dia hidung lah cikgu. Hidung. Hidung Chris. Oh, the nose of the unicorn. Ya, yeah. yeah, the nose Chris of the unicorn. Kain. Crystal. And the, oh no, the unicorn's horn is really there. Okay. Okay, so besides, so mm -hmm. after we decorate and everything, mm -hmm. so then how what what can we use this for? So we put this on our study table, and then like maybe can we do a test, a product test? So let's put my phone. Uh, yes, you can. can let's see whether it it it, it holds you can there hold or not. Phone or not? So we put it here. Okay, is boleh. It? Kita tengok. Ah, oh, setakat. Okay, so this is a it's a product test, okay? So Stop let's. Here. Okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. Steady. 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 Yeah, betul. Ini concrete. Kalau concrete ni, ah. maksudnya kita letak dia ah. masih teguh macam ni. Betul, betul tak? Yes. Ah, it's jadi true. bila hmm. letak dia akan kita letak banyak banyak lah. Kita cuba, kita cuba. Hmm. Yeah. Macam mana untuk try untuk yours? Ah, then, jadi macam hmm. pen, pencil, yeah. stationery, yeah. everything we can keep it here, right? Betul. Inside yeah. this part here. And I also like that uh, Mr. Helmi, yeah, we have added some lights. Kalau macam ni, hmm. Chris, saya nak bagi free ke nak jual? Chris dah buat banyak kan? Ah, yeah. Sebelah sini Chris dah buat. Sebelah right. sini saya buat. He can keep it yeah. because it's a lot of work, but he managed to do it. Yeah. yeah. So be, yeah, and, and I besides functionality, it looks so pretty as well because okay. we have different different types of decoration. Uh, we can use clips, okay. ice cream stick. Betul. So that's why kids, when you after you eat ice cream, mm -hmm. don't throw the stick first, right? Betul. You can paint it and even use it as decoration. Okay. We even have some nice stickers here and cotton balls. Okay. That's right. Di sini, kalau yeah. kita tengok, kalau kita gerakkan, maybe dia akan jatuh kan? Chris, yeah. kita boleh letak sesuatu. Huh. So, help me, kita boleh letakkan semacam saya buat kat depan ni. Kalau yeah, tengok, ya. Yeah. Ah, kan? Okey, kita kena letakkan boleh sesuatu. Letak. Hmm. Okey, apa rasanya kita boleh letakkan? Kita akan uh, cuba lepas ni, cikgu. Yeah. Apa kata kita rehat seketika, we take a short break. Betul. Now, for our friends watching at home, don't go anywhere. We are still working on our product using technique pualaman. And we will be right back here on Mahe Didet TV KPM.
TV KPM Hai semua, kembali lagi di Mahir Dede TV KPM Dan nampak ni Abang Chris sudah buat unicorn dan phone holder design saya uh, Mr. Hilmi, what do you think of my design? Okay, I think it looks colourful, it's very yeah. nice, it's bright Yes, and I'm very proud. And it has a little bit of wavy lines there. Nice, I'm very proud of it. Thank All you so right, much for okay. teaching me. Nah, Cikgu Hanis, Chris juga nak tanya, uh, untuk apakah bahasa seni yang sesuai untuk karya ni, Cikgu? Okey, kita ada bahasa seni yang terdapat pada rekaan kita tadi. Ada okay. dari segi rupa, jalinan. Jalinan kita adalah jalinan tampak sebab kita tak sentuh kan. Kita nampak dia macam ada ritma dan pergerakan sehari ni. Apakah hmm. ritma pergerakan? Okay, we have just now, we have also uh, few things okay. such as shapes. We okay, have oval. shapes. Okay, it's colourful. Colours, okay. And also curvy lines. Ah, curvy, ya? Yeah? Yes. Betul, ada curvy kat sini. Ah, cuba tengok kat belakang, rekaan corak ni. Wow. Okey, ini semua adalah bahasa seni yang terdapat dalam penghasilan karya produk kita hari ini. Okey, cikgu. Ah, produk-produk ni hmm. adalah uh, ada semua ni untuk uh, kita jual. Boleh murid-murid jual. Inilah yang elemen yang kita terapkan. Ha, kita boleh gunakan bahan-bahan hmm. yang kita buat ini untuk uh, sebagai jualan. Okey. Okay. Cikgu, ha. like, like, boleh tak Chris tanya, apakah hmm. like, bahan apa ke yang sesuai sebagai kemasan cikgu untuk karya-karya macam ni? Okey. Kalau ha. nak cakap pasal kekemasan, ha, ya, Chris, ke depan sikit ya saya ni. Ha. Ha, cuba tengok ni Chris. Dia menggunakan lampu. Cuba tengok. Oh, wow. Ada masukkan ha. sign, kan? Betul, cikgu. Ha, ini yang kita kita nak dalam pembelajaran kita. Hmm. Elemen merentas ke kurikulum. Yes. Ha, ya, gabungkan sign dalam penghasilan karya. Letak je, Chris. Wow. Ya. Kalau Chris tengok kat sini, ha, yeah. ni murid buat yang namanya Wafa. Wafa. Dia telah perempuan. Okay. Okay, dia telah masukkan. Nampak tak? Ada suiz kat sini. Yang ini yang kita kena terapkan dalam pembelajaran kita. Bukan ha, sahaja bukan, seni. Betul, cikgu. Bukan yeah. sekadar seni visual, tapi yeah. juga ada sains. Yes, yeah. so we have cross-curricular elements in right. every subject. Right. right. So this is what we call yeah. element K, is it? Yes. Merintas yes. Jadi, program. nampak? Okay. Wow, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's very nice. Ah, can Ada tindak balas. Okay. okay. Yang ini kalau kita nak jual berapa ni? Apa cikgu? Kalau kita nak jual kat pasaran berapa ni? Oh, tak tahu cikgu. Uh, RM10. Boleh cikgu RM10? Saya rasa lebih. Saya lebih lebih ya. lebih. Hmm. Karyanya adalah karya abstrak. Maksudnya karya ni tak akan ada pada orang lain. Baiklah ah, cikgu. Okay. Okay. Alright. Mr. Hilmi, what do you think of this as well? I... How much do you think this will be? If if I were the yeah. one create it, I would say I would sell it for 20 ringgit. 20 ringgit? Yes. 20 ringgit. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. ini semua karya-karya ni kita yeah. akan jual. Betul. Okay, betul tak? Kita boleh buat dekat bus dekat mana-mana pun. Murid-murid hmm. boleh buat jualan. Betul, okay. cikgu. Jadi, dia bukan sekadar pendidikan seni visual, betul. bukan sekadar sains, tapi juga betul. ada uh, keusahawan. Yeah. Betul tak, cikgu? Entrepreneurship. 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 Yes. Right? Yang itu yang kita nak terapkan. Wow, that is amazing. Uh, thank you yeah. so much, uh, Mr. Hilmi. Yes, thank you. And please. also, Cikgu Anis yeah. for showing us, uh, mm -hmm. showing everyone watching as well, how to create a beautiful design, mm -hmm. how to also use that design to interpret it into a product. Very, very nice. And also, this can be used at home. Like for your study table, kat meja adik-adik bila belajar kan, bolehlah simpan uh, telefon bimbit, boleh letak pen, pensel, stationery, semua. Ya? Yeah? Boleh saya buat rumusan? Dan uh, juga, Please? apa saja, Cikgu? Boleh saya buat rumusan? Boleh, Cikgu. Okey. Saya hari ini nak juga. Uh, you go first. Okey, saya dululah sebab saya perempuan, kan? Ah, okay. ladies first, yes. Hari ini, murid kita telah dapat belajar membuat tempat hmm. letak ah, telefon. Ya. Yeah. Okey, kalau kat situ kita tengok pelbagai jenis rupa bentuk ah, kita belajar hari ini, Chris. Walaupun Chris dah buat hmm. Uh, rupa unicorn yeah. uh, tapi kita dah nampak dah hasil yang akan ah uh, uh, Chris uh, yeah. cantumkan kan betul okay. cikgu okay. baiklah we have also learned how to describe objects yes. using shapes uh, colors, colors 
and, and also fashion. design. Yeah, betul. And yes, that's all. And thank you so much, everyone, for watching today's episode on Mahe. And all of us from DD TV KPM want to wish everyone selamat menyambut bulan kebangsaan. Bye semua. Bye. Hello, hello, apa khabar?